Um, I'm, a, I'm a resident in Old Town. Uh, I'm an endorsed Shesca. Can you please tell me what are we going to do about the Locarno because it's a disgrace? Yes, I know this is one of Colin's bugbears. He likes to have it called the Corn Exchange, so you'll see him fizzing if you hear that. <coughs> We are going to keep going until we find a solution. That is the answer. Um, it is desperately difficult. These heritage buildings, if we do not respect our heritage buildings and save our heritage buildings, they're never going to get built again. It is desperately important that we, we save that. the ones we've got. Um, we, we did have a solution. There was, a, there was an approved planning application in 2008 for the corn exchange. I did get told off by an old television recording of the car, so I have tried to change my thinking on this. Um, and uh, I don't, actually don't think it was the best application in the world because I thought the development around it would compromise the building, but it was actually going to get the uh, corn exchange rebuilt. We have now had the worst property recession in living memory over the last four years. Uh, and we're hopefully going to start to come out of that and the quest has still got to go on. There are live applications floating around at the Corn Exchange at the present time. I personally don't think they give the solution. We have The problem you've got with the Locarno and the Mechanics and any other heritage building is from a purely commercial basis to actually restore the heritage part of the building and through the retake and what have you, it, there is no commercially viable solution to have there. Unless we get either the Heritage Lottery Fund, and hopefully now the Olympics is out of the way, there may be some more money floating around for this sort of work. We need, we need funds that will restore the fabric and then allow a commercial use or whatever to take over the rest. So there, are, there is good work happening on the mechanics. Uh, there is stuff happening on the corn exchange. We just have to find a solution, but I can tell you our commitment is absolute on that. Do any of the mechanics want to speak on that issue? I'm sorry, Bill, I didn't ask Bill the last time, so... Yeah, this is the problem, really, these so-called commercial interests. I mean, we all know the Conservative Party is hand-in-hand hand with big business, and so they're going to look out for their friends to make a quick profit. I mean, these buildings should be community buildings, and um, if, if necessarily, yeah, get money from the lottery, fair enough, but have it to... Uh, be an aid to the community, not just to be for the interest of narrow commercial thing, whether it's uh, gambling or whatever it is you want there. And, <coughs> and, uh, yeah, it's been a disgrace, the mechanics uh, and the, uh, the corn exchange, all, the, all these old buildings. I mean, there's very, very little left in Swindon now, so, you know, these are precious and they should be preserved for the community. Yeah, but commercial people have got to make a profit. Yeah. That's the whole point. Jim, did you want to... Yeah, just to I don't know whether this is UKIP uh, policy or not, but it's my view is that the Locarno has been there as a derelict building for the last 30 years. Uh, heritage is one thing, but at the end of the day, it's an eyesore for the town. And, uh, you know, uh, I would just bulldoze the thing oh, and, and, and oh, use it no. and, and, and put another building there. And, and the same for... Uh,